Chinsol, hello, I was not signing up for this sexiness, what? Soaked in my way. The hippos? Hello? Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another episode of Cruel to the Moon. Wow, it has been a while. Um, yeah, I'm back. I'm back to the series. This is the first series on my YouTube channel that I'm continuing. I really, really want to do this now. I really want to do this because of Queendom, right? Queendom got me even more into Luna than anything else before. I really, really learned the faces quite well. I actually got them right in the final uh, completely on my first try. And I was actually really, really excited about everything about them. I also now have a final bias, at least for now, right? <laughs> it can always change. And two bias records, okay? So, and one of them is here today, Olivia Hay with her solo ego egoist. She is one of my two bias records together with Eve, actually. Out of nowhere, she completely started wrecking me totally on Queendom. And my bias confirmed now, not the big surprise, I think, is Chu. So, Chu is my bias, Olivia Hay and also, Eve are my bias records, but big potential for Jin Sol or Kim Lip to also be in there, to be honest. Anyway, we have today Egoist. I've never seen or heard this. The last solo of all of them. And then we only have YY by Y left, as well as her B side of this single album, which is a collab song with Go One, also featuring Hee Jin. It's called Rosie. And I'm gonna check out both today, as per usual. I'm gonna check out everything, right? So we keep this going. Let's go. Uh, actually, I forgot one thing. Oh my god, I completely forgot that we have to check out her profile, right? So, uh, Olivia Hay, the profile that I made for all of the members, uh, she was 16 at the view, or is 16 in this video that we're gonna watch in a second. Um, she is now 19, this is obviously from like a year ago or something like that, so I guess she's almost 20 now, or maybe she's 20, I don't know. Mm, she does everything, rap, dance, vocal. She's more rapper, I think, but she's also, oh my god, her dancing is crazy, I now know that. Um, her color is silver. And her animal is wolf, that is so cool. She also has a fruit, which is the blood plum, which I'm not too sure what that is, but sounds cool. Uh, wolf, silver, silver wolf, that's really cool. I am expecting something like that in the music video, but obviously I'm not gonna go into the story as like crazy as I used to in the beginning of the series. Uh, her other facts are, the facts that I wrote down, that I found out and that I found quite interesting are, she was only a 20 for one day, so uh, before shooting this music video, or I guess practicing for it and being confirmed as a member of Luna, she was only a 24 one day, pretty much. She got in, she's like, okay, can you start tomorrow? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's pretty much it, right? Uh, and yep, the day after she got into company and she's like, oh yeah, hi guys, uh, so it's my first day. And they're like, yeah, man, uh, welcome to the group, you're officially confirmed already, let's go. Uh, anyway, she prefers to be called by her real name rather than Olivia Hay, which is, I looked it up, but I forgot, Olivia Hay. Uh, Heju. San Heju. Okay. Heju. All right. Uh, and also, she really loves kimchi, and her role model are, is Hyanna. Those two facts. Oh my god, I love kimchi so much, and obviously, I love Hyanna. Good fun fact at this moment. I literally just remade my bias list. Uh, my top 10 all time. And as you can see, Hyanna is in my top 10. If you want to look at this for a second, you can. That is Olivia He, and my introduction to her. Let's get it with a twist. Let's start it. Also, more lunar narrations and also the other episodes of Culture to the Moon in a pin comment in a playlist. And more importantly, I will be obviously rushing through the rest of this series quite fast now. I don't know how fast, but I really want to do more than one episode a week. Not sure if that's possible, because these take a lot of time to film, but. and edit. Oh. Oh, her voice, dude. Also, she's 16. Oh. Mm. Also, I have to say, this pose is an amazing song. I'm so addicted, anyway. I can't wait for the comeback. Oh. What is the scene? In the back of like a factory. This build up is cool. Where's it going though? Oh. Mm. 
Wow, she's pretty, man. Like, for real. Wow. I really like this transition from the chorus to... Is it a post-chorus still, or is it just an... No, it's a post-chorus, right? I love this. Ugh. This metal transition was so clean. Oh, the black and white dance. Complete alone, without backup dancers. That's a statement. She's such a charismatic dancer. I love her. Was that the wolf? Yeah, the wolf, the silver wolf. Oh, Jinsel. Oh, whoa, black. Wait, so wait, was it not Jinsel? I thought it was, because... Like, there's a few members here, right? Like, it's not just one. It looks like choose it all the way by my members. So this is Olivia, right? I no clue if this is also Olivia or just someone else. So the other Y by Y members are Eve, Chu, and Go One, right? So this is Chu, I'm pretty sure it looks like her. This could be Go One. She had like kinda silver hair. So maybe that's just Eve then here. I think it's all the YY by my members, it's not Jinsoul, but I was like seeing the silver and I was like... Uh, I only noticed one other person uh, when it went by, because it's pretty fast. So I was like either thinking it's Jinsoul because she's featuring here, or it's like... edited hair of Olivia <laughs> to like give the, the silver, you know, the silver wolf kind of something of color here. But it's the YY by, by Y members, yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> the lay, okay. Oh, she's on a crown? Oh my god. Hello, girl. That's the wolf. That's Jinso. She's rapping. Jinso, hello. I was not signing up for this sexiness. What? Soaked in my way. The hip moves? Hello? Shit. Man. She's also so beautiful, man. I saw that again in Queenum. Biting an apple and bleeding? Oh, the wolf and... Wait, what else happened? Wolf and... Like the wolf's mouth. Then her lips. Ah, so she is the wolf. Then the eyes and then his eyes. That's it. Right? Nothing else here? Also the hand thing. Like she let someone else fall into fire. I saw something with fire, so I was like... Damn, okay. Oh! But she's so beautiful. Oh my god, I love her makeup. I noticed she has like really unique eyeliner that nobody else in Luna uses. So it just like she sticks out with that so much. It's like under her eye. And also just her lashes are pretty big. So she has just a very unique um, makeup style. At least I don't know if that's a personal decision or it's just a marketing decision to always give her this. But for the most part, whenever I see her and I watch some Luna music videos, um, Actually, well, I just rewatched like the solos and shit and like the, the subunits and, and stuff, you know. But then whenever she was anywhere where I saw her and also in Queenum, she always had this, I feel like, if I'm not mistaken. She always had this more thick layered uh, makeup around her eyes. She looks just exotic, right? Like with the makeup. Ooh. Vocally, this bitch so far, wow. But also she, wow. Oh, 
High note? Holy shit! Okay. Oh. Terminator eyes. Wait, who is this? Is this? Yeah, I, I, I'm, t I'm saying I got better with the members, but I don't know. I was thinking earlier if it's maybe just her, but it's not, right? Is it just Jinsel then? I have no clue, to be honest. I was also earlier thinking it's maybe Hanjin, but I don't think so anymore. So it's either just her without the thick layered makeup, or it's maybe Jinsel. But I don't know. Just guessing here. Oh! Oh, so I, I said I'm not gonna get in the story, but I kinda am. <laughs> um, letting go of that animal, which was a wolf, by the way, in the, the crane game, is kinda letting go of the hand of that girl. Wow. Holy shit, she's so alluring, dude. Girl, you're 16. Chill. Burning duck. Wow. Break is that tape. Or oh, that's the bat, which supposedly is the one where the girl fell on earlier, right? Mm, there's 20 seconds out there. This is the last solo music video, so. Also, the last before YYYY starts. But it seems kind of like Hyunjin, no? But she looks like Hyunjin. Maybe I'm just tripping. To me, that looked like Hyunjin. Hey, yo, uh, let me know. <laughs> I was also thinking Cherry, but no, I don't think that's. I think that's Hyunjin, but I, I don't know. Anyway, Rosie next. Um, so this is Heejin and Go One features. Also, I should probably watch it on Random K. Let's get it. Din 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 like the melody din 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 Oh so she's the silver get it you got the silver color That's mm. kind of freaky this vibe I, I know Go One doesn't get many lines in a group, so this is a rare sight, I guess. We should enjoy this. Oh! Vibey, but an interesting vibe. I can't even pinpoint it. Bass, bass, bass. Bitten by your lips. I wonder if he's in raps. Kinda does. Let's go, Heejin. Really like Heejin too, actually. Queen him, she was so cool. Also, I like her voice still. To this day, I like her voice a lot. Very unique to me. Kowon's voice is super, super, like, bright and happy, like, innocent kind of voice. It's cute. I like it. It's not necessarily my favorite voice type, but I like it because it's in this type of fashion and to this extent cute. Not really that common, I feel like. And it's like, it feels like it's a natural voice too. It's not like this artificial productive voice, uh, production voice that a lot you know, surrounds K pop a lot, where like a lot of idols sound like this roughly, but it's not actually their real voice. It's just kind of like their produced voice. <laughs> This really sounds like her real voice. Obviously, there's production on it, but you get the point, right? Mm. This is chill. I like how chill it is, you know? Like, a lot of Luna B-sides from solos, sorry for pausing so much just now, but a lot of them, they are beginning slow, but then they pick up pace, and then they 
just become like this banger and like really crazy productions. I love that there's one of the solo songs, B-side wise, that is a bit more chill and just doesn't take itself too, too serious, but maybe it will still happen. So far, this is one of the more chill ones. Ah, ah, there we go. <laughs> DJ drop that bass, bass. Sudden dubstep DJ mix. That's really random. Sure. <laughs> Vocal. Show me what you got go on. Oh, wait! Wait, I like that whole section. Cause... Okay, we're gonna go back to this... Uh, where is it? I guess here. This DJ dubstep kind of thing. And then just played from there because... That was weird and I was like, okay, how are they gonna go back? And they just... Started the pre-chorus again. I was like, that's so weird. How... That makes no sense to transition from the dubstep thing to the pre-chorus. I was like so bewildered by that. But then they had like a pre-chorus here for the last chorus yeah, that's a bit different than the first two where the build-up feels completely different so you can't really predict what it will you know turn out to be like the whole pre-chorus like you can't really predict how the build-up will sound like moving forward like a few seconds which you could technically if you knew that it's going to be the same style as in the first two choruses you know which happens a lot in songs so people can kind of at least anticipate what it will be like for the last chorus but that was not the case here. It was a bit different of a build-up. And then the way they transitioned into the cars was so interesting. I like that a lot. This part is so interesting. Okay, let's go. Now this is... Like at this point I'm like, what? Huh? But then it's like this... Uh, you know, it's like... Ah... Uh, it's like uh, they're singing a lullaby or some shit. That's what it feels like. And now it's like... Ding, 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 ding. Oh, they just full force into the chorus. That was so clean. Yes! I love that there's like an outro. <laughs> wow. Yo, this song is both unexpected and expected from Olivia, to be honest. Like, after listening to the title track, this is quite different, but at the same time, it suits her so well that it just works. And also, this is one of the only uh, Luna songs again, from the B-sides, uh, solos and subunits so far, that has an actual outro. A lot of them just abruptly end, which one of the reasons why I didn't like that. Like, I still love the song so much. Oh my god, they're all so good. But that little part, you know, it's a little bit, like, unlucky because, sure, it, like, tempts you to, like, if there's not really an outro and it just kind of cuts out and that's it, it tempts you to just listen again right away, right? Because that's kind of like, ah, oh, you want more. But then the outro just, it just feels much better to have this. Like, it just feels complete. And I love that feeling of a song. God, I love it. Okay, so this whole last section, like the, the let's call it dubstep uh, interlude, really weird. But it was a curveball and a half. And they used it so well. Oh my God. Everything after that, the way they used that curveball to their advantage and then ended out and closed out the song, chef's kiss. That was so good. I still like the pretty much, let's say, first part, like everything before that, of the song, but not as much as this part. So this is really like, this part really elevated the song. Holy shit. It was great. Okay, now I'm happy. Dang. Anyway, that is my reaction. It's, it's over already today. Wow. From Olivia Hayes, solo songs. This is Egoist uh, uh, featuring Jin Sol and whoever else was in here, you know, I think the Y by Y girls and I think I saw Hyunjin but I'm not sure as well as um, her B-side collab with Go On and featuring Heejin's ramp uh, for like 13 seconds somewhere in the beginning 
So her rap, by the way, was really funky and cool. I liked that a lot. Um, here, her rap was, was just fun as well. But yeah, that's it from today. And again, as I said, I want to get uh, done with the series, which means, let me just, I'm just going to show this to you guys. You know, I owe you some things, so I'm just going to show it to you anyway. Uh, not that you can probably read it that well, but this is what I'm working with. Okay, so first up, this is a timeline and stuff. So Hustle was not in the group for some time. I don't really know why, by the way, let me know. I have not really looked it up yet. Oh, she, at least she was inactive. She was not, not in the group, but... Anyway, this is the order of videos we have seen. So we start with episode one, Hejin's solo. And then we all the way down here, right now, this is episode 23 with Olivier He. And then we next time have Luna Y Y by Y, the Love Forever music video, plus the choreo practice, plus the one music video. Slash trailer, I'm not too sure what I mean here, but I have to look that up <laughs> once again. I guess maybe just a trailer plus the music video, I'm not sure. Uh, speaking of trailer, by the way, I have reacted to the new comeback trailer a few days ago in like a in like a collective tre teaser reaction where I reacted to like Kepler, Luna, and Cosmic Girls uh, teasers. So that was interesting, and I'm looking forward to that coming a lot. Well, this is the next episode. Then after that, we have the Frozen lyrics, One Way lyrics, and Rendezvous lyrics. These are all of the B-sides of this album. Um, so I just want to, you know, listen to them as well. So I'm going to make it a separate episode because this one would be way too long, 24. So I'm just going to make two episodes out of Luna uh, YY by Y. Because for the most part, all of the other subunits also had at least two episodes. Um, if not more, most of them had like four or something. But they only had one album because they just then went into a pre-debut uh, song, Favorite. And yeah, anyway, uh, then is Favorite, Hi Hi, into a lot of teasers, plus Butterfly, plus Dance Practice into a lot of teasers, plus So What, plus Dance Practice, into Why Not, plus Dance Practice, plus the Star Music video, plus into Paint the Town, plus Dance Practice and teasers. And then, you know, technically there would be the next comeback. Um, so that is, uh, what, what is it called? Oh, uh, feel, oh, what was it? Oh my God. I have it on the tip of my tongue. I can't name it right now though. They literally just released a tracklist today. Flip that. Yeah, exactly. So flip that is going to be the title track for that. And um, I am actually not going to do an episode 32 for flip that because obviously uh, I'm probably not going to finish these episodes before they're coming, right? They're coming is in 12 days. Actually 11. Oh, wait. Yeah, 12 and a half days. So by the time you watch this, it's roughly 12 days. Um, and we have what, four, five, six, seven, eight episodes left. That would mean like almost one a day. I'm not sure if I can do that. That's just a lot of stuff, but we will see. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. But anyway, uh, one last announcement I have to make, and I'm going to say this a few more times uh, on the journey here, but for anyone that's still watching this video, I'm going to just say it now. I will, starting in July or August, one of the two, but I, I really want to do it in July, so I hope I can. I will start watching Luna TV again on stream, on Twitch TV. And also, since I obviously I'm going to finish the series in June, that's, that's definitely going to happen. Like for sure, I'm going to finish this in June. For sure, for sure. So what that means is I finally have heard all of the Luna stuff. I have reacted to everything I can react to really, other than ver variety and stuff, you know. But song-wise, I have really reacted to everything I could, except some early albums, the B-sets maybe, from like the group albums, like the High Eye album, um, the... I think I know the albums from So What, Why Not, and Paint the Town. So it's really only the Butterfly and Hi Hi albums, which I'm not too even sure if they even have albums. I actually don't know. So I'm going to check that real quick. Uh, so Favorite is a single. Then, okay, Hi Hi has an album. And Butterfly has actually a full album, but it includes the songs from the Hi Hi album. So it is almost like a repackage you could say. Uh, but then we already go into So What and I definitely know that album. So there's literally only two albums. But anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm finally gonna do that Luna stream and it might be two streams because it might just be too much for one stream, time-wise. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna listen to the whole discography again from start to finish. Literally, all of the solos, all of the subunits, all of the songs, uh, group songs, B-sides, everything, literally everything. Uh, on Spotify, and I'm going to build a playlist with all of my favorites. That's what I'm going to do. I'm literally Luna listening party for hours. And just vibing, you know? 
uh, from like the the release order. So we're gonna go from Cajun Solo Vivid to um, well at the time Flip That and that corresponding album as well, which I'm obviously gonna listen to as well. So that's gonna happen in July. Uh, mark your calendars for that. I am gonna post the stream schedule the late June uh, slash beginning of July. So look forward to when that exactly will be. But I'm gonna schedule that. Uh, as soon as I, you know, get through some of these episodes a bit more, so I know when I actually can do it, and that's gonna be hype, and I'm gonna get into so much Luna, finally, and I can't wait, because I'm so hyped about them right now, and I need to write this way for myself, really. Um, that's really what I'm doing here, you know. I am sadly aware that this series on YouTube has been a bit of a failure, while I have sometimes dragged it out too much, sometimes obviously had the, hi obviously had the hiatuses, but at the same time also... I kind of want to say it didn't have as much of a, like as much of a viewership as I wanted. It was it wasn't bad, you know, but it wasn't as much as I would have loved to see because I would have loved to see more orbits on my channel. Um, but I'm also partly to blame for how I did it, right, with the hiatuses. Still, I wanna really want just want to do this for myself and just you know get going with this and get into more Luna stuff. So we're gonna do that. That's it for me today. Thank you to listening to all of this. If you did, <laughs> if you did like the reaction. And listen up to this part, you're incre incredible crazy, yeah? Thank you so much, and if you like, if you like the reaction, that's it for me. See you next time with another episode, and Luna, why, 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 why? Peace.